Now, we all know what burnout is. It involves long working hours, poor work-life balance, and even the glamorization of overwork. Burnout takes a toll on our bodies, and we know that it's bad for us. But have you ever heard of bore out? This word doesn't get as much attention as its workaholic cousin, burnout. But it's just as evil. Simply put, bore out refers to chronic boredom. It's normal for everyone to get bored at work occasionally, but being chronically bored for days on end may indicate a bigger problem. Bore out is when your job feels pointless and tasks seem to be devoid of value. There's a little bit of working and a lot of staring at the ceiling. There's maybe a little nap here and a lot of coffee chugging there. Maybe even online shopping and holiday planning. All while being at work, simply to pass time. Basically, you witness the slow death of your job and it can be disheartening. You ask yourself, how did I get here? Well, there could be a number of factors. Maybe your physical workplace environment is demoralizing or your job doesn't challenge you enough. Maybe the project you were hired for is no longer a priority. It could also be that you shouldn't have been hired in the first place or that you were brought on board a little too soon. All in all, bore out is about people not having enough work to do. It is seen as jobless employment. And it is different for different people. Maybe someone is lazy and secretly enjoys chilling at work. Maybe someone wants to do more but doesn't know how to tell their manager that they are effectively jobless. So there are variations. But experts say the fundamental experience of bore out is its meaninglessness. It's when work doesn't really have a purpose and bore out can seem like just a buzzword or even a laughing matter. But experts say it is just as pernicious as burnout because boredom at work is a real issue. It is present across industries. It is bad for both workers and companies. Disengaged employees cost employers an additional 34% of their salary. Through absenteeism and lost productivity, studies say chronic boredom increases employee turnover, early retirement intentions, even poor health and stress symptoms because people who suffer from bore out often suffer from depression, high rates of anxiety, even physical ailments like headaches and insomnia. The worst part is while in burnout, the consequences are drastic and quite physical, like a worker collapsing from exhaustion. The symptoms of bore out are more mental and emotional. Employees seem physically present, but they are absent in spirit. So bore out stays hidden from plain sight and it can go on for a while. It can also be seen as a worker lacking interest or motivation, which is an organizational taboo. But at this point, you must be wondering, if it's so bad, why don't employees just talk about it? Because talking about boredom is also taboo. Experts say employees feel like they will have a target on their back. How does one tell their manager they are earning a salary for barely doing anything? Especially when layoffs have become a daily sport. There is a clear risk of things going south. Tackling bore out can surely be tricky, but it is time that we start by recognizing it and talk about it because bore out invites long-term harm, both financial and emotional. And waiting for things to improve can result in years of just that, agonizing wait. And we should remember one thing, bore out is not just an employee-centric problem. Managers need to take responsibility too. They need to actively seek signs of boredom at workplace and find ways to mend things. This can include making minor changes to tasks or even job profiles and creating a workplace environment where workers feel valued. It's true that work can't always be exciting. It is unrealistic to pretend that it will be. But just as burnout is seen as the enemy of employee well-being, so should chronic boredom. And we aren't supporting the so-called hustle culture. Idleness can be good, but just how much and for how long? Burnout and bore out are extreme ends of the same spectrum and they both need our attention because being terribly bored is a crisis. It's a crisis of growth and a crisis of meaning and it is looming large all while workers are reaching the end of their rope. Except now they aren't burnt out, they are just bored.